Hello guys. Uh, I wanted to uh, post a video to give you guys an update on the requirements for note taking in this class. I apologize. I probably should have been more clear uh, earlier, uh, but note taking is a requirement for this class. Uh, you are going to have to be able to uh, take notes along with the video lecture. Now, uh, and I will be grading those notes as well, but I'm not going to be grading all of them. Uh, so that's just too much for me to handle. You know, I have uh, 200 online students and, you know, if I had to grade all of your notes every day, that's just not something that I can actually uh, keep up with. So uh, to clarify kind of what the expectations are for note taking, when it's going to be graded, when it's not going to be graded, and how it should be handled. Uh, I'm going to, you know, uh, make this short video just so you can kind of understand that. So, first of all, uh, notes, uh, as far as how you want to take notes, you can essentially do it any way you want. If you want to make two column notes, go ahead and make two column notes. If you do a traditional outline style, uh, go ahead and do that traditional outline style. Uh, you know, whatever way works for you, that's the way I want you to, to take notes, right? All of our brains work differently. And so whatever you have found works best for you, uh, that's fine by me, just as long as you're uh, taking those notes. So uh, what format should I take the notes in? Can they be handwritten? Should they be typed? Uh, again, that's up to you. So, you know, if it were me, I'd probably handwrite them. Uh, that's, you know, kind of that act of handwriting it helps me retain that information. A plus, you know, if I'm watching a video on one screen, I don't have, it's not easy to type uh, those notes on a computer. So it's easy to sit there with a pad of paper in your, your lap. So that's up to you. If you want to handwrite them, if you want to type them, whatever. Again, it's whatever's easier for, for you. It doesn't matter uh, to me. Now, if you handwrite them, uh, you will have to submit them to me occasionally, uh, and you'll have to do that by photo. So what I would recommend is make sure you're always titling your notes by whatever the name of the video and the date that that video was assigned so you can easily access them. Because sometimes I'll ask you like, hey, send me a picture or send me a copy of your notes from Origins on, on Origins of American Politics from August 17th. Well, if you're not organizing your notes well and don't have titles on them and dates on them, it's going to be difficult for you to do that. So, uh, you know, go ahead and do that and then make sure you can take a picture of it or if it's a Google Doc, share it uh, and then, you know, uh, email it to me uh, or what, whatever. However you get it to me, that's fine by me as long as you get it to me. Um, Number three, uh, note checks will not be every day. Uh, so again, like I said earlier, it's just that's just too much. Uh, there's no way that I can, you know, actually look at all that every single day. It would take me hours to do that. Uh, so uh, I will let you know uh, when you need to submit to me your notes. And, and imagine it's probably going to be one time a week where I'm going to say, hey, the lecture that we did on 818, uh, I want you to, uh, you know, take a picture of those notes or, or share the Google Doc so I can check those notes. And then I will also let you know how many points uh, that is worth. So uh, there'll be a special assignment for you uh, to be able to do that. And I'll put that in the Google stream. So you'll know all of that ahead of time. Uh, lots of questions on how am I going to grade the notes? Well, I, I'm not going to take off for grammar or spelling. So, sometimes I talk real quick and it's hard to keep up, uh, you know, or the, you know, I've gone through the slide and you have, weren't able to write all the points down. You know, you got to pause it, go back. If you miss a thing here or there, that's not a big deal. Um, you know, I certainly don't care about speller or gramming. I'm an atrocious speller. So, you know, I believe me, I, if you have problems spelling, so do I. So no big deal. Uh, it's going to be based on completion. I'm going to look at them. And if you've got the uh, gist of it, if you know, if you've got 95% of it completed, I'm going to give you hundred percent, right? If you've got 75% of it completed, I'll give you 75. So it's going to be a uh, completion grade essentially broken down uh, that way. I'm going to give you uh, a, a completion grade based on how much of it you got done. If you got 50% of it done, uh, you know, I'm going to give you 50% of the points. 
So uh, that's kind of how that works. Uh, next thing, keep your notes organized. Uh, make sure you have them. All the information for the assessment tools are going to be from that notes, uh, from your, your notes. So you're going to want to keep that stuff organized so you, you can go back and study it later for tests, finals, whatever. Also, you want to make sure you keep it organized because I'm not going to say take notes and submit them to me today. I mean, I might do that on occasion, but most of the time I'm going to say on Thursday, hey, submit to me Tuesday's notes. Uh, you know, so it's something you've already done, should be easy to submit. You can get that homework assignment done really quickly. Uh, so you need to be able to find Tuesday's notes. So always when you're starting your notes, put the date in the top corner. The next thing I want to talk to you about, point six right down there. Uh, this is going to be, this is very, very important. Uh, and, you know, I, I kind of, I put it in the syllabus, but I didn't do a lot of, of discussing of it. And I feel like I need to do that. Uh, your notes any assignments and any communications you have with me through email uh, need to have your first, last name, and section number uh, on that communication or assignment. And so I'll kind of explain what that means here in a second. Uh, but here's why you need to do that. You know, normally if we were an in-person class, I'd have a tray and I'd say first hour, put your papers in that tray. It's easy to keep it organized. I can grade them and then put them into SIS and you can see the grade. Well, because I'm collecting all this stuff electronically, it's just filing into my inbox. And so I have John Smith's homework, uh, but I don't know which class they're in. And so for each homework assignment, I have to scroll through every class to see, you know, which assignment matches up to which kid in which class. Uh, that's just too much. And so to help things stay organized on my end and to make sure that you you know, get credit for all the homework assignments you turn in. They, it doesn't get lost in the shuffle. Uh, I need to make sure you have your first and last name. Uh, no abbreviations of, of, of those names. First and last name. You know, if, if your name is, you know, uh, Jonathan Smith and you say John Smith, that's fine. But make sure I, I understand that I can match it up in SIS. And then make sure you put which history section number you're in. Now, some of you are thinking, oh my God, what do you, what's he mean by section number? It's easy. Go look at your Google Classroom website. And underneath it says, you know, it says US history, Mr. Garrison. And underneath that, it'll say, you know, section number zero one. I have seven sections of US history. So, you know, each class has its own section. All of you are in one of those seven sections. Uh, you just need to figure out which section you are in Google Classroom. And then, uh, you know, when you submit an assignment or uh, you, you're writing your notes and you submit the notes, you need to, uh, you know, make sure at the top left hand corner, it's got your first name, last name and section number. So just say John Smith, section one. You don't have to say U.S. history. All my classes are U.S. history. Just section one, section two, section three, whichever section you are. And that'll help me keep everything organized. Also, I'm trying to make sure because our almost all of our communication is going to be through email. I want to keep track of those emails so I can you know, reference our conversations. So if you send me an email in the subject line of the email, please put your section number. So if you have a question about Flipgrid, just in the subject line, put Flipgrid dash section number two. That way I know I can put that in my section two file and, and I can reference it easier later. Uh, the As far as assignments go, uh, you know, the first couple assignments, I'll probably cut you some slack so you get used to writing your section number down on your, your paper. Uh, but after the first couple assignments, I'll start taking off points for that. So if you have any questions, send me an email. Make sure you put in the section or in the the subject line the section number and if you don't know the section number or can't find it on classroom put section number question mark uh, so I'll, I'll know that you couldn't find it uh, anything other than that uh, you know just like I said email me and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions uh, thank you for all of you who reached out to me uh, and you know, with questions about notes and when they're due and, and how you want it done. Uh, this whole thing is new to me too. And so, you know, I didn't realize I was unclear with that communication. So I can't make a clarification video if you don't let me know that there's things to, that need to be clarified. So thank you very much for that. And I will see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.